Howdy peeps and peoples. I, I'm really excited about this video. I've been wanting to share it for a little while. I've had a couple people, a few people probably by now, ask me about the five, my 592 that I've been talking about buying. Uh, finally broke down and bought one. I think we bought, got 1400 bucks in it. And uh, uh, finally bought it, finally bought it to try to modernize my experiences with chainsaws. Those of you that's known me from the past, uh, that's not new to the channel or whatnot, <clears throat> a lot of you know I, pro I run pretty cheap chainsaws. Now, a reason for that being is <clears throat> I, to the end of my logging career, to, towards the last of my actual full-time logging career, I was running Buncher. I've run Buncher for years. Uh, started getting pretty good at a Buncher. And the necessariness, especially with Brutus with a leveling buncher a saw wasn't necessary very often i probably cut 95 percent of the timber with the hot saw the only time i pulled out a chainsaw was for like line trees push pull trees trees above a bad ditch or something that i thought i need to cut with a saw situations like that when derek took over brutus and, and i got pushed back to rubber cutter I couldn't quite rubber cut as many trees as I was cutting with Brutus. So I ended up using a saw more. Well, me being a cheapskate, you know, they say old habits die hard. I went cheap. I bought this Chinese farm tech kind of saw that was basically a clone 395 cheaped up with China crap. So that thing lasted like an ice cube in hell. It, it just uh, it, it just was not a good saw for me. I uh, cut and I pull on a saw a little bit and stuff. Manhandle a little bit maybe. Nevertheless, it didn't hold up good for me. <clears throat> Jordan come along and Jordan's learning this, the trade. He's very smart and very eager and he's basically wanting to get into a big block saw and yet learn and tinker and stuff like that. I said I'll tell you what here's a saw you can't hurt you do your worst play with it modify it fool with it and I gave him the 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 Xi Jing pudding and he's got I think he painted it black he's got all kinds of stuff he doesn't put a jug in it more, he, he's been playing with it, learning, just doing science experiments and learning as he goes. When I went back with him doing these ties, and when I run a rubber cutter, I started using a chainsaw a little bit more than I had been in the past. And I told Mama, I said, I finally, I don't want to be spending money, but I'm going to have to bite the bullet and update saws a little bit. And I've been wanting to get into 592 since they come out, and never did get the chance to or never gave myself the opportunity to I just felt like the money went better in other places but I finally broke down and bought one <clears throat> so now that I'm doing these ties I run saw a lot and I'm enjoying it even though I'm just cutting a block of ties I enjoy running pudding and I'm really or running this new pudding of some sort uh, <clears throat> maybe like a techno pudding I don't know I don't know I've been running the new saw and I'm just enjoying it and I really, really like it. Let's get in here and check it out and see, and I'll share with y'all what I like about it. All right, I'm going to take just a few minutes here and I won't do no talking. It looks like about four minutes or a little more. I'll just let y'all listen to this saw run. It's running a 28 inch bar, uh, round two chain, full comp. Uh, that's about all I could. Oh, I'm running the uh, 63 gauge. Uh, links on it.
I figured I'd start talking now. The uh, I figured I had a couple people maybe would wonder why I'm running round two chain on this thing. Sawing through this stuff, it gets pinched easy. You got long cuts to do, and I don't want any mistakes. I'm trying to match my cuts up from both sides from top to bottom. It, ain't, it don't go good once your bar gets wallered out. And the round two chain really handles like if you hit the en end of a tie and you're going down through it and a chain tries to walk on you. That round two chain's better at fighting its way back in at an angle than a chisel chain. Another thing that I like about the round two chain is it's, is it's shorter in height. So your leverage over your rails is way less, so you don't get wallered out rails as quick. Running ties is pretty hard on your rails. It ain't as hard as cutting big timber. You know, big timber is real hard on your rails, but then with a heavy saw motor, you know, this is this 395, that's a big saw. It's still, I wanted to be able to update. I love it so much. It's, it's, it's the, well, the wonderful thing about this 592, is it's a, it's a big saw. It'll still, by the other day, I got to not paying attention. It caught, jumped out, hit me, throw me on the ground. I was like, man, I love it. Uh, 395 is the only saw I ever ran that ever done that to me, you know, to spit you up and throw you on the ground when you when you wasn't paying attention. So you, you when you are got a saw that's capable of doing that, you know you got a saw, a real saw, you know. And I love that. But... The similarities between that and the 395 kind of in there. It's it's the 592 has way more RPMs. It runs like a smaller saw RPM wise. It really wraps out. You can hear the RPMs in it and the rappiness in it. It's it's real spunky. Where the 395 was torquey, but it wasn't as spunky as what this 592 is. It's light. Very well balanced. Pulls a 28 inch bar with full comp chain like it's nothing. That I was really impressed with. Re really impressed with that. I, I was pretty pretty much a stickler for that. I played around with big bore kits and stuff like that on 395s. Not saying that I'm some kind of professional with anything, but you know, I ran you know modified some 395s before you know i've ran a little bit better than a 395 and it's still with my tunes and stuff no smarter than i am i could I, I couldn't tune one up to run with this 592 this thing is just a daggone beast light tight spunky i just love it it was my saw guy uh, canaries down there he uh ryan said get a hold of me let me know what you think of it and I, I I didn't get back with him for a couple months there and I told him I'm so sorry I didn't mean to ghost you there or nothing but but I wanted to get some time with it before I gave him my, my, my actual 10 cents on it and my 10 cents is wow I think I'm in love I just love this thing it is so awesome I said if this thing can hold together man what a money maker what a daggone good job Husqvarna 100%
I'm sitting here, I got to thinking, you know, another thing that I need to bring to light here to share with everybody is not only am I running full comp and round two chain with this thing in this situation, not chisel chain, but another thing is I'm running that 63 gauge chain. And those of you that's fooled around with your chain gauge before, you know that that 63 gauge chain, man, it pulls a motor down then over your 50 gauge. You know, so so here I am running this wide gauge chain, full comp cha- full composition on a sick on a on a on a 28 inch bar cut maple. It is soft maple, mind you, it's red maple. And it's not hard maple. But cut cut maple. And just going through it like a knife through butter. I mean, it just, I'm just so blown away by the way this thing. And if you, if you get hard on the drags, man, it, it lets you know. If you take your drags down a little too far, boy, it's going to let you know quick. It feels like the 590, you know, guys, guys, I've ran a 395 since 2006. I've ran a 395 the majority of my career. So I got to know a 395 like it was my right hand. You know what I mean? And this, there's things about the 395 that I got really, really used to, and I really, really got to expect them to be a certain way. And and I was really hoping they didn't mess any of the good things up with the 592, and they didn't. They they didn't. It feels, oh gosh, how could I go? <clears throat> The positive rake, if you put your uh, tip of your bar, you advance the tip of your bar as you're cutting a little bit. <clears throat> it cuts and, and digs a little bit like the, the three, 395 did. I love that about 395. You put a little forward pitch on the bar and you just hung on to it with one hand and it just ate itself. You know, it does that too. My friends are wrapped. 